Hey guys, welcome back to the Blues Lesson Series. In these next few videos, we're going to be working on uh, blues riffs that use the notes that exist in our chords, but we're going to be breaking them apart into, into single notes. So we won't be strumming chords anymore, and we're not going to be using that little shuffle pattern, but we're still using the same notes. Um, it's just being used in a different way. So as a you know, an example, our A7 chord contains the notes, or is built up of the note, out of the notes of A, C sharp, E, and G. Well, that's the root, third, fifth, and flat at seven. So for the first uh, sequence that we're gonna go over, it's gonna be A is the first note, string five open, and then jumps to string three, fret two, A, so that's two instances of the root, A and A. And then open string three, G, which is the flat at seven, and um, string four, fret two, E, which is the fifth. So we have. And that's the sequence of notes that gets repeated over. So instead of strumming it, we're just breaking it apart or arpeggiating it, really. Um, and we're playing root. So it's going to be the same for this first one for the D and the E chords. The pattern changes a little bit for the D chord in this open position. So we're going to have string four open. We're playing each note twice. Uh, and then string two fret three, D. String two fret one, C. And uh, excuse me, string three fret two, A. So that is the root, the root flat at seven, and the fifth again. And then the E pattern is going to be the same as the A. So string six open, string four fret two, string four open, and uh, string five fret two. But the way that those notes sit on top of the chord, or the way that they function in the chord, um, is exactly the same. So the, the, the sequence is uh, it sounds the same over each chord. It's just basically transposed, shifted up or down, however you want to think about it. Um, so let's go all the way through that. We'll do it nice and slow. And we're gonna use just a swing feel. It's all swing eight notes. One and two and three and four and... <laughs> are great ways to one learn to hear the blues better and to keep track of the uh, chord changes at when you start getting into improvisation because what you're playing and, and what chord is being sounded is certainly important to be aware of um, all right so the next one is going to be the exact same thing but we're going to shift it um, to all fretted notes we're not going to use any more open strings so um, I'll have other videos where I talk about bar chords and uh, this is what, you know, that's what you would want to visualize when you're dealing with these riffs like something like this, bar chord A7 at the 5th fret, bar chord D7 at the 5th fret, and a bar chord E7 at the 7th fret. The D and the E are based off of the A7 shape and the A7 is based off of the E7 shape, but we'll go over that in that video. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, don't worry about it, not necessary. So it's the same exact riff, but um, everything's going to be fretted. So we're starting here at the 
had string six. My girlfriend's burning down the kitchen. String six, fret five, and then it's going to jump up to string four, fret seven, string four, fret five, and string five, fret seven. So that's for the A chord. So. except we shift everything down uh, one set of strings. So we start on string five, fret five, jump to string three, fret seven, string three, fret five, and string four, fret seven. And then the E, we're gonna shift that up two frets, and it's gonna be the exact same thing as the D, so. fret 7, string 3 fret 9, string 3 fret 7, string 4 fret 9. Here we go. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... with your right hand and your pick and walking your fingers um, over the strings uh, and just aiming for as much accuracy as you can uh, staying keeping everything very close playing it slow like that is almost more difficult uh, in a sense just because it makes me think you know for me it makes me think in more detail than I have to um, but anyways, you know, as you speed that up, maybe you'll experience that too. Just keep everything nice and close to the strings and move your fingers as little as possible. But, you know, when you're going through it initially, map that stuff out for yourself. Try and see it in your mind's eye as clearly as you can. Now, this next one is going to be very similar, but we're going to uh, put a triplet on beat four like we did in some of the shuffle riffs. So it's going to be... Uh, the first three beats are going to be exactly the same for each chord, so it's going to be... That's all the same, and then we're going to jump to string 5, fret 5, hammer on to 7. So... And then we end on string 4, fret 5 there. String 5, fret 5, hammer on string 5, fret 7. D is going to follow suit. Right, everything just shift down and then shift up two frets for the E. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.